Confess all you did to him, lawmaker blasts Buhari over option of eliminating Namdi Kanu Hello great viewers, welcome to my channel. A member of the House of Representatives for Umwahia North slash Umwahia South slash Iquano Federal Constituency of Abia State, Obi Agwocha, has slammed the immediate past president, Muhammadu Buhari, over the option of eliminating the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu. Nija News learned that Buhari's thoughts about the option of eliminating Namdi Kanu were conveyed in a new book written by his former aide, Femi Adesina. In the book, Adesina said there was an option of eliminating Kanu, stating that bringing Kanu back to face trial in Nigeria was a favor. In response, Agwocha, in a statement made available to journalists in Abuja on Monday, said the remarks by Buhari regarding Kanu's handling are deeply concerning. The lawmaker said that suggesting that the elimination of a citizen was an option, even in retrospect, is alarming and raises serious questions about the commitment to the rule of law and human rights. He further called on Buhari to come out clean and confess all that he did to Namdi Kanu and the Southeast while in office. He said, the suggestion of elimination as a viable option undermines the principles of justice and due process. The Supreme Court of Nigeria, in its recent judgment, roundedly condemned Buhari's government on the attack on the home of Matsi Namdi Kanu and also his rendition from Kenya. For the former president to summarily suggest that being subjected to such illegality was a favor for a citizen is totally reckless and reeks of all things personal vendetta, and so far from the high standards of civility expected from a leader. President Buhari should rather come clean by confessing all he used his office to do to Matsi Namdi Kanu and the South East, nobody, including Femi Adesina and his principal, should play God in respect of Matsi Namdi Kanu. There is an inordinate obsession with the former president seeing Matsi Namdi Kanu in detention because of his prejudice. Thank you so much for watching that video. We have told you for so many years that every leader in Nigeria who calls himself a president believes that he is untouchable. They say whatever they want to say, they do whatever they want to do without looking backwards. But like I've always said, Namde Khan would have been their doom and their children's and children's doom. When a president of Nigeria opened his mouth to say that he had an option to murder a freedom fighter, instead he preferred to kidnap him. That's alone should tell you something. That this contraction is no longer what used to be rather is now a terrorist den. A complete terrorist den that every terrorist now swim around. You can see the kind of poverty, the kidnap other countries, smaller countries who is it's not all even up to our numbers. I've been able to checkmate the terrorists who has bent and destroyed their country. But in Nigeria, you see terrorists, especially the flying terrorists, kidnapping and maiming Nigerians every day by day. And while they are at it, they move around freely. In a country we have a Mieti ally, who is the sponsor of flying terrorists, was allowed to recruit a vigilante group. The same thing they did while Buhari in office was in office. They used flying terrorists in collaboration with us the Kubo boys all together. So many of you don't know this. Now some of us can talk about men sent him state to go and massacre innocent freedom fighters are actually part of flying terrorists. Selected by Mieti Allah. 
incubation with Hassare. Buhari paid him for that and he accepted. When Mietella was actually telling you that his people was killed in the Ibo land in Southeast, and for that reason that he will retaliate, he will set up a little group in Ibo land. What he was actually talking about, I explained to so many of you that he cannot set such thing in Ibo land rather. He will look for a miss to either get them through military or some of that means. And that was actually what they did. Why Buhari was paying Asare to recruit boys to go into Moste to massacre innocent people? Mietiala boys were selected. They were part of Asadokubo misbehaved and killings in Imo State. Do not see it that I am deviating. I know why I am saying this. Because it is very important that people should also understand what Buhari did and the same thing Tinibu is doing today. A man who calls himself a president opened his thing, came out to say that he had an option of killing a freedom fighter, but rather he preferred to kidnap him. But he forgot that that option of killing him would have been, first of all, the end of Nigeria and also the end of his own kids. We may have been taking things easy, and we know why. He actually, he actually did Nigerians and their useless leaders a favor. Like I said in my previous video, so many of them would have gone down. So many. And that contraction that we are doing everything possible peacefully to dissolve would have been the software the way we want it. Because people, politicians, keys, who had hand in it, would have been all gone. Nam the Kano is not a man that you will just get rid of and go through with it. You are your generation. According to the lawmaker, he said Buhari should come out and explain all he did to Namdek and, and he was why he was in office. There's no need of that. We all know what Buhari did to Ibos. Some of you politicians pretend as if you do not see what is happening. You behave like a Christian association. The same thing they are doing is what so many Ibo politicians are doing. Something is going wrong. And when they are invited, and we talk, they will start nyanima pata. Imagine how many Christians are being killed in Nigeria every day upon that. The so-called Khan can visit Tinibu and come back after talking trash. So this is what it is in this contraction. And this is more reason why people should be very careful and do the right thing and the need because this country you see today is gone. A country where foreign terrorists are now all in military. A country where Boko Haram are all now in the military of Nigeria. What sort of country is that? And the funny part is that those people, some of them came from Masai. They are terrorists that came from Masai. Some of, some of them. And today they are wearing Nigerian military uniform. And you still believe that this country will work? <laughs> you guys should go and hide their face in shit. We have been telling Tinibu to listen to Namde Kano. He continued to shake his head. Baka, baka. When they ran, we start falling. It's going to touch everybody. It's going to touch everybody. He may have succeeded in using some criminals somewhere in desperate. 
to name him. But they do not continue to succeed all the time. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.